Taiwan's presidential hopefuls are taking part in their first televised debate as the island gears up for an election on the 13th of January. Uh, there are three candidates vying for the top job. Vice President William Lai of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, New Taipei Mayor Ho Yui of the main opposition party Kuomintang, and former Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe of the Taiwan People's Party. Uh, for more on the debates, let's speak to CNA's Lauren Ong. She joins us live from Taipei. Lauren, how big of a part did cross-strait relations play in this first debate? Well, it was an hour and a half presentation where the candidates had an opportunity for, to present their policies, but they also took a hit from their, their, their competitors. And um, this was actually a chance to, it wasn't exactly a format for the candidates to have a debate. They all had 10 minutes in a series of three rounds. But what they did was they had crossed swords over how Taiwan should engage China. And the DPP, for instance, they came under fire for um, its commitment to to for the foreign policy work of the current president, Tsai Ing-wen, and, and that has since seen tensions rise across for, uh, for the cross-strait relations. And Ho Yo Yi, the Kuomintang opposition party, ex as actually said that this meant that war was imminent and a vote for him, the Kuomintang candidate, would actually mean a vote for peace. He's kind of framed the elections as a choice between the um, choice between war and peace. And he has also emphasized this 3D strategy that is more dialogue, deterrence and de-escalation. But um, the DPP ruling party's candidate, William Lai, also took hits um, for, also shot back at his opposition candidates and especially highlighting how they had failed to form a coalition and also criticizing that they have formed a false sense of security um, for the cross-strait relations. And also he has further rejected the 1992 um, consensus and sort of framed this election as a, like, a choice between trusting Taiwan and giving this trust to the hands of another country. But for Ko wen the Taiwan People's Party, he has sort of framed this issue as um, something that he will want to maintain the status quo, as well as bringing out more dialogue with China. That's through mutual respect. And he sort of hopes that Taiwan can sort of be a bridge for U.S.-China relations um, as well. But at the same time, he also emphasized the importance Oh, well, at the same time, you also um, stress the importance of increasing the GDP spending of 3% for the defense budget, as emphasizing that um, Taiwan has to, be, to rely itself for its own security. Yes, Lauren, Taiwan is also grappling with a sluggish economy and also rising costs of, of living too. Those are big challenges. Did any of the candidates say how they plan to address these important issues? Well, actually, housing would be one of the key issues that will be high on the voters' minds, and especially as housing prices rise and salaries can't keep up with them, especially for the young people with the average salary of less than a thousand U.S. dollars. And this means owning a home is almost beyond reach, and as well as renting a home since seems is also seems like it's a struggle. The opposition has actually um, hit on the DPP, saying that since um, President Tsai Ing-wen came into power, the quality of life in Taiwan has actually dipped. And But the DPP hit back, saying that um, they are putting up measures, especially increasing the supply of subsidized housing for the people to meet the demand, as well as investing in things like AI and sustainability. And for the Kuomintang, the opposition party, they've also have their own housing policy um, measures as well, especially with like rent transparency, as well as to do away with um, having down payment when buying a home. But they also hit back at the DPP saying, um, highlighting the pitfalls um, the government had with managing the pandemic and mostly focus on constitutional and financial reforms. And um, they also called for the other competitors to focus on building a better future for the young. And this also means um, the issue of wages. And both the DVP and the KMT have already said that they will want to push the minimum wage to a much higher level. And that's what the TPP education is key, you know, for um 
emphasizing more education for those proper skills and also to boost um, certain sectors for the Taiwan's economy, as、All、well、right. as using state land for、um, yes. Lauren, certain housing projects. Thank you、projects. so much. We're going to have to cut you off there for time. CNA's Lauren Ong there reporting for us live from Taipei.